getting out of wind, simple activities becoming difficult from shortness of breath, coughing, chest tightness, and wheezing. These are some of the symptoms of a common lung disease called COPD. COPD affects one in every 10 people worldwide and is one of the leading causes of death. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hi, welcome to Smart Clinic. Today we will learn about COPD. Dr. A, we have a list of questions for you. How do our lungs work? Our body needs food and oxygen to survive. Lungs are the source of oxygen for our body. We all have two lungs, which are like a soft sponge protected by ribs. The air we breathe goes to the lungs through windpipe. This windpipe splits in two and goes inside each lung. Inside the lung, it branches multiple times again and again like the branches of a tree. These tubes are called bronchioles, which carry air in and out. Their walls have special features that keep the lungs clean by stopping germs, fumes, and dust. It's like a road where cars can go freely, but all troublemakers are caught by these guarding cells. At the end of each tube are small air sacs. They clean the blood from carbon dioxide and gives it fresh oxygen. The blood then takes this oxygen to the rest of the body. These are like small factories that work all day and night. Millions of these factories work together. Our lungs have extra factories that turn on when we need more oxygen, like when running or playing. All this work keeps happening every moment of our life, but we don't notice it. It becomes a problem when things go wrong, like in COPD. Dr. A, what is COPD and how does it affect our lungs? COPD is caused by smoke particles that constantly attack our lungs. Worldwide, the most common cause is cigarette smoking. Each time a person smokes, a large number of toxic fumes enter our air tubes and air sacs. Our lungs work hard to fight them. When this happens again and again for years, the lungs are constantly busy fighting. The air tubes become thick as they recruit more fighting cells and produce more sputum. The tubes get narrow and clogged, making it difficult for the air to go in and out. Just like the wide road now getting narrower and having debris on the sides, the same number of cars now take a longer time to move in and out. The toxic fumes also damage the air sacs. They destroy the walls, making the air sacs bigger and less efficient. These factories get slower and eventually shut down. If the damage continues, more and more factories shut down and oxygen does not get delivered to the blood. Both narrowing of the roads and shutting down of factories makes it harder to breathe. Each breath is less effective, making the person breathe more. Our lungs keep growing as we grow. They are best when we are 20 to 30 years old. Then their ability slowly declines. But this decline never causes problem as we have lots of extra factories and tubes, more than what we need. However, due to smoking, lungs may not grow to normal size. Or the decline may happen earlier and quickly. Smoke exposure, whether direct or indirect, damages lungs at all <coughs> stages of our life. Quitting smoking can stop extra damage. Remember, it's never too late to quit. Other forms of smoking such as pipe, cigar, hookah, shisha also damage lungs in the same way. Repeated smoke exposure from biomass fuels used in rural areas or certain jobs with harmful dust like coal mining can also cause COPD. The damage is different in each person. Some are more likely to get COPD than others. It depends on our genetics, gender and how good our lungs were before. A rare form of COPD is caused by gene defect, but this happens in less than 1 in 2,000 people. Dr. A, who gets COPD and how does it affect their life? Usually it starts with frequent cough, sputum and wheezing. Person gets out of breath with activities that they could do easily before. This makes them avoid activities that make them out of breath and slowly become sedentary. As COPD advances, Simple things become difficult and oxygen levels in blood may drop down, requiring extra oxygen. At times, COPD may flare up. During these flare-ups, the problems become more severe than routine day-to-day -day ups and downs. Breathing gets difficult even with slight effort. There is more sputum, 
cough and chest tightness. A person needs extra medicines and may end up in hospital during these flare-ups. These flare-ups should not be taken lightly. Consult a doctor when this happens. Okay, Dr. A, tell us, how is COPD diagnosed? First step is to take a good story from the person suffering. Many diseases of heart and lungs can have similar symptoms of shortness of breath, chest tightness, or cough. So doctors may need to test what else can be the problem. To diagnose COPD, we do a special breathing test called pulmonary function test. In this, you have to breathe with force to see if the air tubes are tight, like those in COPD. Additionally, a chest x-ray is needed to see if lungs have other problems. We've learned so much about COPD. So now, can you tell us, how do we protect ourselves? As we learned, COPD is caused by smoking and other toxic fumes. If you work in a place with smoke or dust, wear a mask. Keep the place well ventilated. Avoid smoking at every stage of life. This includes direct exposure and indirect exposure. If you smoke, it's never too late to quit. Save yourself and the people around you. To learn more about smoking and how to quit, see our video on smoking. With advances in medical science, we have many ways to help people with COPD. Watch our next video about COPD treatments. Thank you for listening and see you back soon. Did you know we breathe 10 to 14 times each minute, 720 times every hour, 17,300 times every day, and 440 million times in life? How amazing is that? We don't realize our lungs are working so hard. That's another reason to be grateful and take great care of our body. I hope you learned from this video. Spread this message so others can benefit as well. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about health and disease. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.